51-year-old Charlie Wadge works out every day at home. It is quite a change from the days when an arthritic hip from a hockey injury caused him constant pain. It was tough to get around. I was in poor shape because I couldn't exercise. I couldn't walk a block. Um, and there was always pain. I always had pain. Told by his GP that he needed a hip replacement, Charlie was in for an unwelcome reality check. Listen to what he heard from his doctor. The way from the time I was diagnosed with it till um, it was done was probably a year and a half to two years. Deciding he had had enough pain and that the Canadian health care system offered no prospect of timely relief, Charlie went to a medical broker named Rick Baker in Vancouver. I will have the surgeon get in touch with you uh, sometime in the next 48 hours. Two weeks later, paying a negotiated out-of-pocket cost, not allowed in Canada, Charlie went to an orthopedic hospital in Oklahoma City and got his new hip. He says it was money well spent. And my quality of life is so much better now. I can do anything I want now. I, I actually feel 10 years younger because um, I can do, you know, everything now. I still can't run, like, and I'm not supposed to run, but I can, I, I can do everything else. Charlie Wodge was lucky. He could afford to leave the waiting lists behind. But there was a lingering resentment about a system he says let him down. Um, it let me down because I, you know, it, it, if it's not life-threatening, um, um, it's kind of like, well, live with the pain, and um, whenever we can get you in, we can get, we get you in. Um, <clears throat> it's, it, I think it lets lots of people down. The new hip seems to be working just fine. This is Gene Randall reporting.